good morning uh, dear students welcome to another session of computer networks lab so in previous uh, sessions we discussed uh, regarding the introduction to nctuns uh, tool uh, then exp uh, then in uh, we discussed uh, three experiments as to how communication can be established between the nodes using the tcp and uh, udp protocols and then we uh, saw the stat statistical analysis uh, related to the same uh, so let us move further and uh, check out uh, the last experiment that is experiment number four so in this experiment we will try to uh, implement a ethernet lan uh, using uh, uh, an nodes and assign multiple traffic to uh, nodes and obtain the congestion uh, window for the uh, sources so again uh, we will be doing the statistical analysis of uh, this so again as uh, we had uh, discussed in the introduction uh, uh, go to uh, the uh, virtual uh, where the, or that is a vm uh, where open the fedora uh, operating system and uh, under the federal operating system open the nctvns uh, tool in order to open the nctvns uh, uh, we have to uh, again uh, go to uh, the terminal first open the dispatcher using the command dispatcher the, then minimize the terminal then go to a new terminal then again uh, use the command coordinator to uh, start the coordinator uh, running so once coordinator is running again minimize the uh, terminal again uh, open a new terminal uh, type in uh, nctns client command uh, which will help us open the nctns tool now once uh, this tool has been uh, opened so we have to uh, again configure the system so as we had discussed previously again uh, we have to uh, create uh, the uh, configuration or the topology so in this i'll be uh, making use of uh, the nodes uh, so in uh, this case uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be having uh, two nodes here uh, next i'll be placing another two nodes and another two nodes but now uh, in order to establish the communication uh, uh, say i'll be uh, making it as a ethernet uh, so i'll be making use of uh, a switch uh, then I'll be placing a hub between the other two so in order to uh, utilize this so host one will be connected to the switch host two will be connected to the switch then host three to one hub and to the same hub host four host five to another hub and uh, host six to the same hub where host five is connected uh, now uh, now let us have the interconnection between the hub and the switch uh, so this is how uh, multiple levels of uh, switching uh, and the uh, hubs can be operating now here uh, what uh, we'll be uh, looking out for is uh, say uh, previously we had just either a hub or a switch now we have uh, overall uh, the switch and the hub configuration which is present between the nodes now uh, previously we had seen that uh, in the ethernet lan uh, uh, if two nodes want to communicate they can uh, make use of the tcp or the udp protocol uh, via the switch or even if two nodes want to communicate uh, using the tcp and udp protocol they can do it via the hub now let us uh, try to see uh, some other aspect wherein uh, say two switching elements are uh, present here not exactly the switching uh, one is a switch and one is a hub say uh, if i want to communicate from host one uh, say if i want to communicate from host one uh, say to host two that is the first experiment uh, sorry uh, the third experiment what we had conducted previously so that comes into play now uh, the, in the first experiment uh, what we had done we had uh, communicated in between two hosts which were connected via the hub now let us see how we can establish a communication between a node which is connected to a router and then router in turn to a hub and then uh, to that hub the destination node is connected say for example if i want to establish the connection between 1 to 6 i have to surpass the switch and then to hub and lastly i'll be able to reach the destination now uh, i can try out the reverse thing also that is say for example uh, host 4 wants to communicate to host 2 in order to do that it has to send the packets or the datagrams depending on whether it is using tcp or udp respectively to hub uh, that is uh, hub which is acting as host 8 then uh, to the switch and then to uh, the uh, node that is the destination node which is connected to this switch 
so we'll uh, try out this and see uh, try to see what is the statistical analysis uh, what we have so you can try out either tcp udp or any combination uh, whichever is uh, required uh, so in order to do that so the network topology is already built up uh, so let us go to the edit mode wherein we have to uh, check out uh, the ip addresses of each and uh, i have to uh, set uh, the uh, tcp udp receiver or sender so these things we will be able to set so i click uh, e button over there so it will tell me to save uh, this so go back and save in the root so i'll save it as rudra experiment 4 oh, sorry i think it's misspelled i'll just save it as okay so i have saved it uh, so ip addresses will be assigned so if i just uh, hover around uh, ip address is 1 uh, sorry uh, 1 dot uh, 0 dot 1 dot 1 1 dot 2 1 dot 3 1 dot 4 uh, 1 dot 5 and 1 dot 6 so here uh, will be the port numbers port id 1 port id 1 port id 3 so three ports are available previously we had seen only two ports so here we'll just check out port id 2 port id 4 port id 3 port id 1 so here there are four ports because there are four connections okay uh, now uh, so i have to what i'll uh, be doing is uh, I'll try to communicate 1 with 2 and 1 with 6 or I'll try previously anyways we have done with 1 to 2 using a switch so I'll try out a different configuration wherein I'll try to communicate 1 with 6 and 4 or 3 with 2 okay so as per uh, the previous discussion if i want to configure double click on the host add uh, say uh, i'll make it 30 so, say i want to make it as a sender stcp hyphen p say port number i'll choose as uh, this one l and 1024 1 dot 0 dot 1 dot uh, say 6 and 1 dot 6 yes so this one uh, then uh, node editor Double click MAC 80223, make it a full duplex log. I'll choose the appropriate files which I want. So, again, remember press enter. So, this has been done. So, I want to communicate uh, with this. So, I have to uh, make it as uh, receiver RTCP hyphen P, uh, say port number 2000 hyphen. L1024. It is just to avoid confusion, not we are not creating multiple things. Uh, so again, node MAC 803 8023. Again, full duplex log statistics. So I'll choose this again. Enter. So these two have been configured. Now, uh, say I'll try to uh, do uh, alternate. I'll go to third one. Uh, say I'll choose 30. Uh, say I'll uh, try. I'll use uh, say STG or I'll use STCP. Let, uh, so STG you can uh, try it out uh, later. Uh, say I'll try it as uh, 3000 L1024 1 dot 0 dot 1 dot uh, 2 is the IP address of the host 2. Uh, so this is being done. Go to node editor MAC 80323 full duplex log packets since it is a sender i'll take the outgoing packets okay then click enter uh, so i'll just take this 30 so it's, this has to be rtcp hyphen p say 3000 l length is 1024 no need to specify the address full duplex log packets so, yeah, I'll be taking uh, these statistical parameters enter okay so I'll just cross verify this yes okay RTCP <clears throat> so I have done the configuration if you want uh, you can have the communication from 4 to 5 
so in this order and see what all is happening uh, so in order to run the entire simulation you can have the combination of uh, various tcp udp <coughs> sender and receiver both acting uh, one node acting as a sender and receiver one node acting as a receiver of uh, tcp and udp one node itself acting as a receiver uh, and transmit tra sender and the receiver so you can try out all these configurations uh, so let us run the simulation so click on r so it says yes so again remember press enter don't close the window over there so now it is in run mode go to simulation click on run so now the simulation starts to run so let us wait for the simulation to be over <coughs> okay the simulation is done so let us do the file transfer so now data exchange is happening so let us see uh, try to see what has happened so now it is in uh, playback mode so if i just uh, click this i can uh, so i can see what is happening over uh, here so one uh, interesting fact to observe is uh, okay uh, so whenever data is arriving from uh, host one to the switch so it is not getting uh, duplicated and sent over uh, to this hub it is only being sent to this hub uh, so it is uh, smartly uh, sending the packets towards the destination uh, whereas uh, whereas you can see at the hub uh, what is happening is whatever data is appearing here it is being sent to both the nodes so here uh, destination accepts the packets which is destined to it and the others uh, drop those or they discard them uh, based on the address what is specified in those uh, datagrams or the packets uh, respectively based on the protocols what they are using uh, so this is the simulation what is happening now in our case uh, there is uh, no data being exchanged from 3 to uh, 2 uh, so that is the simulation result what we have obtained so if i try to run it again uh, let us see uh, i'll go to run i'll try to see if whether i'll get any other uh, result over there <coughs> Okay, the simulation has run. Okay, so let us see uh, what has happened. So now we can see that uh, in the simulation, uh, uh, host three is also send sending data to uh, host two. Now here, uh, if I try to, uh, let us see. Here one, uh, what what is happening is whenever host sends information and it uh, telling that it wants to communicate to host 2 it reaches the hub this hub sends this data to the switch and the uh, the host 4 so this is basically broadcasting the data so that is what is intent that is what is shown by a red color so this is the path the yellow is displaying the path through which the data is being uh, sent so once it reaches uh, the switch what happens is this switch knows that switch uh, host 2 is connected here so that packet goes to the switch and the switch sends that information to host 2 but hub is not doing that thing if you just observe uh, regarding hub you can see that hub is sending the data on both the links now since here uh, there is no direct link you can see that in this case uh, host 6 is directly connected to this hub so it is shown as blue color whereas uh, this one is shown in red color so all these have some indications so 
in uh, n situ n s. Uh, so this is uh, what we have observed uh, when we uh, try to establish communication using uh, via a switch and a hub and uh, the interconnection of uh, say the ethernet lan and uh, different types of uh, uh, devices which are present in between uh, so uh, let us see uh, as per uh, the graph graphical analysis what we have got so go to uh, g tools plot graph file open uh, so just uh, type in the experiment name what you had uh, given uh, so it is not the name it is experiment 4 dot results so i can just check out a few uh, uh, say a few parameters over here now you can see that uh, some changes are there as compared to the first experiment what we had uh, seen with respect to throu throughput now why is this happening is it is happening because uh, uh, no uh, host 3 is also sending the information host 1 is sending the information and uh, the switch is the common point uh, where the data has been received so this reduces the overall uh, throughput uh, what is achieved so this is uh, uh, this is the kbps uh, what we have achieved in the time what we have mentioned uh, so let us check out any other parameters okay not there are there any collision has occurred no not there okay so we can observe these changes over here so this is uh, regarding the nctns tool used to conduct the simulation experiments of the networking uh, so let us uh, wind up uh, here uh, by just seeing how to uh, just uh, shut this uh, nctns down so after conducting each of the experiments that is from experiment 1 to uh, this point uh, remember if you are using a vmware or other softwares don't go and directly close the window uh, what this does is it abruptly close, closes the operating system and it may get corrupted so make it a habit that you close it in a proper step by following proper steps so first uh, in this case i'll be uh, closing off Uh, so here I can just press ctrl z uh, so this comes out of the, that uh, host that is say dispatcher or the coordinator for which it was operating so these two these all are closed now uh, in order to shut down the system go to system uh, click shutdown so press shutdown so this shuts down the overall system uh, so this is all for uh, this NCTNS. Thank you.